I don't know who you are or what you want, but don't do this! Oh, I'm afraid I must blow. A little chemical concoction made just for you. Enjoy! Wait! No! No! <laughs> oh, this is not good, not good. Brett's back to his evil experiments again. I thought we told him we wouldn't allow that anymore. He's turned blue into some kind of freakazoid Hulk monster. I gotta tell the others before. Oh. <laughs> that was a close one. I was almost a goner. Jeez, Purple. Can you find a more tactful way to wake a guy up from his nap? You know how cranky I get. Now where's my breakfast? Orange, we gotta get out of here, man. Blue's been turned into a giant rampaging beast and he'll be here any second. Hang on, you know I'm useless in the morning before I've had my tasty treats. Orange, I'm serious. We need to go now. Whoa, is that me? Purple? It's just me and Green left. I have to save him. Green? Green? Where are you, buddy? Come on, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, what's the big idea, pal? Let me... Shh! I hear them coming. Ah! Do you think it saw us? I don't know. Quick, get in this box. Move, I'm squished in here. Shh! He's right on top of us. Will you shut up? It's like you want to die. Hey, you. Quit messing around with those boxes and find the rest of the rainbow friends. Our mission won't be complete until purple and green transform into mutants just like you. All right. I think it's safe. What do you think Red's plan is? I don't know, but he's the only one who might be able to reverse these effects. We need to corner him in his lab and make him fix this. Yeah! Ah! Green! Go on without me. Find a cure before we're stuck like this forever. Wait! Hold on! Time out! Okay, this is Red's lab. That slimy little cretin should be hiding in here somewhere. Aha! I got gotcha you now! All right, friend. You don't have any of your giant mutants to protect you now! Ugh. Red, what happened to you? Why would you do this to yourself? Actually, I did all of this, and Red got what he deserved. Huh? Wait, who are you? I'm anti-Red. Consider me your new boss. Red, take him down. <laughs> Where am I? Hey, hey, hold on a second. Don't do this. I've never even met you before. I'm not your enemy. Red, stop the procedure. Everyone here is my enemy, and I can prove it. Long, long ago, the original Rainbow Friends used to be humans in costumes. But with waning sales, Red couldn't pay them anymore. I know all this stuff. That's why he needed us. He tricked me and the others into becoming the awful monsters we are now. Ah, so you know your history. That's good, but it's not the full truth. You see, before he turned to all of you, he originally experimented on himself. He tried to make clones that could do all his hard manual labor for him. That's how I came into this world. A perfect copy in many ways, but also completely opposite. So he locked me up. He didn't know what to do with me. I certainly couldn't be seen by the guests with my disturbing appearance. I mean, heaven forbid he embraces creation. I lived my life in solitude, cast away from the outside world. But still, he needed me. The science behind complete body transformations is quite intense, you know. 
Since I shared his brilliant mind, the two of us could tackle problems he would never be able to solve himself. Without my insight, it would have taken him a lifetime to figure out how to create you and the other colors. I begged him to release me from my cell. After all, I had to make us profitable again. With just a small amount of time together, we figured out a way to bring back sales and save the play place. Just think about the new scientific discoveries we could make working side by side as equals. He seemed hesitant to trust me, even though I swore I would forgive him for locking me up for so long, to let the past be the past. I could tell he thought about it quite intensely. Deep within my soul, I knew he was going to let me out that very night. But you all had to ruin everything. Right on the cusp of my freedom, you all turned him into a rainbow friend just like you. After that, he was furious. He came to me with devilish intention in his eyes. I told him we could find a way to fix this, as partners. That he just needed to release me, and we'd come up with a cure. But his anger was too great. He said that if he had to be a monster, I did too. So he transformed me into another rainbow friend like him, with a giant head and bulging eyes. Ray couldn't bear the idea of me somehow being greater than him. From then on, I became consumed with hate against Red first and foremost, but also against all of you. This could have ended all those years ago, but you had to drag Red, and therefore me, down with you. I would patiently dig a tunnel in my cell every day, avoiding detection from Red. I used the time to plot, to plan my revenge. So when I was finally able to break free, I knew exactly what I was going to do. Red always thought I was hideous, a mutant, so I decided to turn him, and all of you, into real monsters. Disgusting, hideous monstrosities that obey my every command. Soon I'll put you all in glass containments, a gross macabre spectacle for the masses. Instead of being loved like you were before, you'll be vilified. Everyone will shriek and gag at the sight of each of you. You'll feel the pain I had to endure every day of my existence. And best of all, none of you will be able to do anything about it. The mutant syndrome makes it so everyone with a less powerful mind than my own is unable to resist my control. And none of you are smarter than me. But there is someone as smart as you. Red, you're in there somewhere. You have to resist. Shut up, you. Now pull the lever and let's finish this. Come on, Red, fight it. You have to save us. What are you doing? Duck him in the acid. I command you. No. Oh, what happened? You guys are back to normal. Sure are. But look. <laughs> Maybe Red will see he's not the only technological whiz around these parts. Purple? Ah. What are you doing in Red's lab? Uh-oh. Everyone, we gotta get out of here! Guys? Oh, help! Purple, I gotcha! Where's everyone else? Uh I don't know. What are we gonna do? That was our home. Those were our friends. We're our friends. I don't think anyone could have made it out of there alive. It's all my fault. Purple, it's just you and me now. What now? This might be the end of the rainbow, friends. Hey, freaks! Halloween's over! Use that! Uh, I think I'm okay. It's just a bump. Look what you did to my car! Why are you on a... Get a load of these guys. Look at those costumes! Where'd you get them? The, uh, uh, the lame costume store? I don't know. They look pretty expensive. You thinking what I'm thinking? No! You better stop or you're- No! Go to pay for that! No! Purple! Ah, three against two isn't fair! Come on, guys! 
I got a feeling this will be worth a pretty penny. Thank you very much. Now, uh, what seems to be the problem? Those kids beat us up and stole my crown! It was three of them, they went that way! And, uh, what exactly are those costumes? They're not costumes! This is who we are! Right. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. We better find somewhere to sleep for the night. What kind of hotel would take us in? Not like we even have the money. Ugh. I don't know if I can trust you around fire anymore. It's too cold for jokes. Ooh, that's better. Where was that when we needed it earlier? <sighs> what do we do now? I don't know. Get jobs or something? I can't work. I have no skills other than stalking and evisceration. I could be a mover, maybe a trash man. I'm not sure. All I know is we're on our own now. Day two without the Rainbow Friends Play Place. Things are harder than I ever imagined. Mm, Brad never looks so good. Run! We don't have any money for food, or a place to stay, so our only option is to try and find work. It's a tough world out there for two rainbow friends. Nobody would talk to us, or even look at us. And if they did look at us, they ran off screaming. Our comfortable days of chasing humans through the play place and being subjected to Red's experiments are over. Sometimes you never realize how good you have it, until it's all gone. At least I still have purple. Well, I just realized I haven't eaten all day. Me neither. You know, worst case scenario... Blue's got a lot of meat on him, right? That could keep me going for a few days, that's for sure. What am I doing? Purple's my friend. Unless... He's thinking the same thing. Well, oh, good no. night. I have an idea. Hey, little fella. It's so cold and rainy out, but it's nice and warm in this box. Why don't you come on in and... <laughs> Get it on me! Boy, am I glad it attacked you, because now I won't feel as bad eating it. <gasps> Is that my little cupcake? No, it's a dog. Cupcake! Come here, boy! <laughs> little cupcake's been missing for days! Oh, you boys are just the best! You could have saved her life! Well... All in a day's work, ma'am. Here. As a reward, though my cupcake is priceless. Did that really just happen? Strange-looking fellows. A hundred dollars? That's way better than dog meat. No need to thank me. You? It was my idea. <laughs> But I caught the dog and gave it to the old lady! You're the reason we're in this mess! Fine, we can share it! Just... Ah! Oh. Orange? Orange, what's wrong with you? Hey, that's my trash! You can't have it! Orange, it's us! We thought you were dead. I thought you were dead! If you escaped, maybe Red and Green did too! We have to find them before something bad happens to them. Green, is that you? Guys, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, it's so good to see you. Where's Red? We're not sure yet, but we're looking for him next. When all of us band together, we can definitely rebuild the play place. I'm not going back there. I had my fun with the Rainbow Friends Play Place, but I think it's time to move on to bigger and better things. This job is great. People don't scream and run. They smile and laugh. And I get paid. What? Sorry, pal. We found a new one. And we don't even have to pay this guy. So beat it. Fine. Let's find Red. Where do we even start looking? Where do smart people go? College. Where do smart people without money go? Uh, the library. 
I've been reading tips to fix up a house. With this knowledge, we can rebuild the play place in no time. But where would we get the materials? We lost everything in the fire! Wait, Blue! We have a hundred dollars! Oh no, we left it in the alley! Green, you had a job. Did you get paid? I only worked for a day and a half, so not very much. How much? A couple hundred bucks. That money combined with the scraps of wood left over, as well as my mighty intellect and architectural talents, should be just enough. you'll be granted is worth all the potential life-threatening side effects you may experience. Wait, what? Alrighty then, here we go! Hold on tight! Orange? Orange, can you hear me? Did it work? Do you feel any different? Whoa! It worked! It worked! Orange, I've given you one of the strongest elemental powers. I've given you... fire. What? Why? One word. Money! You see, Orange, we never fully recovered from our unfortunate financial downturn. We need to have something that Oddworld doesn't. And that's magic. Or science that looks like magic, in the form of a circus act. Soon, all the Rainbow Friends will be injected with special elemental abilities. And I'll be rich. I don't know. Do you think everybody will agree to that? Well, they aren't going to have a choice. I'm going to give them these powers whether they like it or not. And you're going to help. Me? Why do you need me? You fool. I would never be able to lure them to my lab for this procedure. Believe it or not, the others are too smart for that. Hey! Take this. It's a special laser gun. If you shoot the others with this, you'll imbue them with the powers of the elements as well. And why should I do that? Because I'm much bigger and stronger than you, Orange. And I'm not giving you any other options. Whatever you say, boss. Now go get them. And whatever you do, don't shoot them twice. It'll remove all of their powers for good. How the heck does this thing even work? Orange? What is that? Orange, what's gotten into you? I'm trying to help you. Help me do what? Get shot by a laser? If so, then I'm not interested. I've been given the ultimate power, Purple. Let me give that gift to you. No chance. Ah, there's no way I can catch up to him. He knows those vents like the back of his hand. But maybe I can force him out. Spider in the hole! <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> Orange, how could you? I could have died in there. You'll thank me later. What do I feel? So strong. Whoa! Now you have poison powers. You're welcome. This is incredible. Uh, what's happening? You guys look kind of funny. Is something going on? Get him! I don't know what's wrong with those guys, but I've got the feeling Red's got something to do with it. I need to stop them before they can get to me and Green. Uh-oh! Orange, you don't have to do this! Don't listen to Red! You'll thank me later. Oh, my stomach hurts. Whoa, I can shoot water? This is awesome! I made you even stronger than you were before. Now, we've only got one person left to turn. Love me a good fall pit, like a hot tub made of plastic. It's nice to finally get some alone time. Just me and... Green, now 
you have the power to control plants and nature. This is amazing! And now that we've got all our powers, it's time to go back to Red and show him. Huh? What are you talking about? It was Red's idea for a new show at the Play Place. So he's just using us as pawns, again! Well, I, I guess technically, but... Then why would we listen to him? We have these super strong powers and he doesn't. We can overpower him easily. And use our powers however we want! Not just to be some circus freaks! You're afraid of him, aren't you? Well... yeah. You don't have to be anymore. You alone might be able to take him down with your fire powers, but all of us combined? He doesn't stand a chance. What the? Oh no. Well, Orange, I see you've completed your task. With some unorthodox methods, but nonetheless, brava. So, is everyone happy with their new powers? Guys, what's happening? You don't have control over us anymore, Red. What are you talking about? Do you not remember our conversation? I'm in charge here, Orange, and I- We're stronger than you are, Red. We don't have to listen to a thing you say. Yeah, we're more than a little circus freak show you can make money off of. You're not the boss of us now! My friends, please, no need to get angry. I was thinking we could all work together with your new powers. I'm not greedy. Look at it this way. If we make more money, I can spend it on things for you. New vents, well, we'll have to replace the ball pits. And how do Donut Sunday sound, hmm? Guys? Ah! Let me go this instant. You'll regret it if you don't. I ain't stop ordering us around unless you want a face full of fire. Come on, guys. Let's ditch him. These vines are stronger than I expected. Must have done a great job on the element gun. Good evil genius, Red. Too bad it's coming back to bite me. All right, let's see what this baby can do. Mind control psychic powers, huh? I don't mind that at all, and I know just how to use them. Good luck attracting customers when the place looks like this. I always thought this place could use a little greenery. <laughs> yeah, he can't make any money if no one can even come in. Let's work it. That'll show him. Now let's see if my mind control powers can work from all the way over here. Alright, gang. Everybody's gonna start listening to me now. What? I'm our new leader, since it was me who gave us all our powers. We don't need a leader. And if anyone should be a leader, it should be me. Oh, really? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Take each other out. Take that, you little Charmander Tucker! Not on my watch! Who's the boss now? Not you! <laughs> Looks like I'm the most powerful of all! Not even Red stands a chance against... Huh? What? I knew you fools were no match for me after all. All I had to do was turn you on each other. And your own powers destroyed you. Joke's on you. They'll wake up soon, and there's more of us than there are of you. That may be true, Pendle. But whatever will you do without your powers? Without? No! Ugh. No! My powers, they're gone! There we go. The natural order has been restored. Though I do quite like my psychic powers. Maybe I should keep them for a little, just to try it out. Then it won't matter what the other Rainbow friends do to try and stop me. They'll be under my control always. What? No! No! My powers! What even is that thing? I don't know, but I'm not sticking around to find out. It's too fast! Ah! What about Green? Shouldn't we help him? He's a goner! Maybe we can still make it! Blue! Blue! Orange, don't stop running. It'll catch you next. Ah! What did I just say? What's everybody yelling about? You! 
you're the one I've been hunting for. The evil genius that turned me into this and ruined my life forever. Back before I was transformed into this monstrosity, I was a humble painter. Nothing fancy. Every day I would sit on our porch and paint the ocean. It soothed me. It made me feel whole. I dreamed of becoming a world-famous artist, seeing my work in museums, in galleries, selling it for tens of thousands of dollars. But that would never happen. Or at least it won't now. Painting didn't prove to be as much of a moneymaker as I had hoped. I was a great artist, but making a living was hard. And after a while, I lost more money than I had made. My house was bursting at the seams with boxes full of my unsold art. No one wanted to buy them because they said I used too many colors and the landscapes were unrealistic. I could barely stand to look at it. I was a total failure, a fact my wife wouldn't let me forget. Just like my paintings, the bills started piling up too. My wife was working two jobs trying to help us make ends meet, but it still wasn't enough. She started to resent me, and I don't blame her. I would resent me too. I felt like a freeloader trying to make my impossible dreams come true while she kept us afloat. She demanded that I get a real job that actually brings in money. So, I decided to become a fisherman and sell my catches at the local farmer's market, since I love the ocean so much. I liked being on the water, but each day away from painting on my canvas felt like torture. I wanted to draw and be creative. The boat was dreary and muted. I wanted to live a life of vivid rainbow colors. So, against the best wishes of my boss, I started sneaking my art supplies on the boat and painting something new every day, each better than the last. But that made me start to neglect my duties as a fisherman. I barely caught anything, and what I did catch was small and sickly. No one would pay good money for it. So I decided to go further down the coast for some bigger catches. I went way far away from the usual fishing spots. Out so far, I almost made it to Oddworld. It was just downstream of the Rainbow Friends play place. And believe it or not, it worked! The fish looked a little strange to me, but they got the job done. It was a bountiful day at sea, just in time for the farmer's market the next day. I was ecstatic. If I could bring in enough money, I'd be able to pay the bills, and my wife might finally forgive me. I was ready to make bank. But it seems that folks were a little put off by the fish's appearance. They say any publicity is good publicity, right? Well, it turns out that's not true. Everyone was grossed out by the strange fish, and I didn't have a single customer. I didn't even sell an anchovy. But hey, at least I had dinner for a while. I for one didn't care about how the fish looked. After all, it tasted the same to me. But my wife felt differently. She refused to eat it. She said I was somehow even a worse fisherman than a painter. I felt horrible. I couldn't provide anything for her. Not even one measly meal. After that, things got pretty bad between us. But on top of it, I started feeling... strange. I was feeling a lot angrier than usual. But I was also feeling a lot stronger. Meanwhile, the fish got weirder and weirder. They started to be larger and even more colorful. Unnaturally colorful. I'd never seen anything like it, but they were all I could catch. The pollution in the area was already pretty bad, but this seemed different somehow. With no one buying my fish, I was forced to get rid of my inventory as best I could. At least they didn't go to waste. Even with everything falling apart, I kept painting. It was the only thing that brought me peace, but even that started to feel different. I couldn't get the strange fish out of my head. It's like my mind was consumed with colors, and the pictures in my head became harder and harder to paint. And my anger continued to get worse, almost uncontrollably. I just started calling it abstract. A few days in, I threw caution to the wind and entered an art fair. The grand prize was a thousand dollars. And boy, could I use that money. I'd be able to pay off some of our debts, save our house, save my marriage even. But as hard as I tried, I didn't even place. Clearly, these idiots had no idea what true art was. I was overcome with rage and I lost control. I went on a total rampage, ruining everyone else's art out of jealousy, destroying the entire fair. That day ended up being the worst of my life. After that, things fell apart completely. I lost my wife. I lost the house, and I could feel myself losing my humanity as well. I didn't even want to paint anymore. Why would I? I'd never be any good. 
So that night, I went to the only place that ever helped me clear my head. This colorful pollution of some kind. It had almost taken over the ocean near us. I was beginning to come ashore. Who could do such a thing? Dumping waste and chemicals into the ocean. Where we get our food. Where some people get their livelihood. Where there were living creatures. But this wasn't your regular trash or oil spill. I had no idea what on earth it was. What's happening to me? <laughs> What's happening to me? Somehow the colors, something took over me. I felt power coursing through my veins, a dark power. All I wanted was my old life back, but instead I became a monster. I was terrified, I was confused, I was angry. I needed to find the source and exact my revenge upon whoever did this to me. And the colors led back here. It seemed as though someone had been dumping them into the ocean. Fine, I admit it. It's all my fault. I attempted to make a device that would split the color from a rainbow friend so I could transform myself back into a human. But alas, no matter how many times I tried, it wouldn't take enough color. I tried it on the other rainbow friends too, but with no luck, needless to say, I ended up with a lot of extra color. I had to dispose of them somehow, and I couldn't just throw suspicious barrels of toxic color into the dumpster. It was you! You did this to me! I didn't know that would happen. I figured if the colors were extracted, they wouldn't have any powers anymore, and you should have known better than to eat radioactive fish. <laughs> Liar! You're trying to trick me! I'm not! I know what it's like to want to be human again. That's why I created the color splitter in the first place. You said it yourself. It doesn't work! And that's what got me into this mess! You can't fool me! You did this to me! You really thought you could run from me? You want it? Come and get it. Ah! Hello? Are you there? Finally, it worked. You're free from the grasp of the rainbow. Perhaps now I can even set myself free. How did it feel? Did it hurt? How does it feel to be human again? I guess I'll never find out. What the heck is that? I don't know, but it's definitely the worst entity we've encountered yet. Just gotta keep running to avoid it. But there! That way! How do you know? I don't! <laughs> there! The light! Now this way! Come on! Keep up! Oh my god! What do we do now? We have no choice! We gotta keep moving! Right! Yeah. Ooh. No, 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 no! Purple, no! How could it have come to this? That's the question I've been asking myself ever since we got to this shoddy hotel. I realized that, being a blue eight foot tall monster and all, nothing about my life is logical, but you know what I mean. Anyways, our story starts back at the Rainbow Friends Play Place. Red was doing one final experiment to turn us all human again. He assured us it would work this time, but as usual, his promises fell flat. Red had somehow created a doorway to another reality, or rather, it was our own reality, just alternate. It had people that looked like us and everything. He claimed that waiting for us on the other side of this door was a utopia, a world just like ours, where we could start fresh and be given new bodies. It all sounded too good to be true, but our desperation won out. Starting with Red, one by one, as Rainbow Friends entered into the doorway, until it was just me left standing there. A part of me thought about turning around, finding my family, and accepting myself for who I was now. Another part couldn't help but be curious, and so, I leapt in. I emerged on the other side of the doorway in what looked like some weird hotel. 
There was no sign of the other Rainbow Friends anywhere. This was going to be a long day. Hello? Anybody here? Red? Orange? Aw oh, man, where'd everybody go? Huh? Purple? You in here, buddy? Get it off! Get it off! Whew, that was freaky. Gotta keep looking. I sure hope the others are okay. You think you can chase me down? I don't think so. I invented the whole blaring noise, fast creature thing. You're not gonna be having me for supper, that's for sure. Hey, that takes care of him. Wait, what is... Guys, where are you? This isn't funny. Oh man, leave it to you, Purple, to get lost. They're probably all happy with their new bodies by now. Oh, what the? Yeah, that's not freaky at all. Stay calm, Purple, stay calm. It's just a bunch of demonic eyes. When have those ever hurt anybody? <laughs> okay, I'm feeling really exposed right now. Is there a vent anywhere? Ah, that's better. It's no vent, but at least it's nice and cozy in here. Nothing can get to me when I'm packed this tight. Get out. Whoa, is someone there? Get out! 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 I swear, this is the last time I trust Red. Stuck in an unfamiliar place like this. I can't even rely on touch to get around anymore. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me! Huh? What's that? Is someone there? Look at me! 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 Sorry to break it to you, sister, but I'm blind. I can't look at anything. Look at me! Sheesh! Some people just can't take a hint. Fine, I'll find my way out. Lots of help you are! I don't understand. My calculations were correct. This is Roblox, isn't it? Why does it all look so unfamiliar? Turn around! What was that voice? No one's there? Show yourself! Turn around. Ah! Forget it! Ah, ah, ah. Come on, come on, you stupid thing! Ah, there! Stay back! Orange! Is that you? Green? Boy, am I glad to see you! <laughs> I wish I could say the same! Very funny. Come on, that'll only slow it down for a little bit. Let's go! Follow my voice! Oh, great. Where are we now? As if I'd know! Orange, what did you do back there anyway? Shh! I hear something. <laughs> Wait a minute. That thing must be drawn to noise. Just like you. It... it might even be blind. In that case, keep your voice down. I rely on my hearing and touch. This thing must too. First things first, we need to find an exit. You mean like this one? I told you not to make any... Ah! Green! Get out! Get out! Get out! Ah, fine, I will! Just leave me alone! Ah! Huh? Blue! Purple, thank goodness you're all right. This place is crazy. You're telling me. First room's full of eyeballs, and then wardrobe ghosts. I can't take it anymore. Eyeballs and wardrobe ghosts? All I thought was a spider. Are you kidding me? Huh? Okay, now I see what you mean. Run! Made it out then, I presume. Red, 
Of course, you're still alive. Where exactly have you brought us? Nowhere good, I'm afraid. I must have made an error in my calculations. You think? Not to worry. I believe our salvation is just ahead. Soon we can escape from this dreadful hotel. I'm sure of it. You see? Exit. Just as I thought. Red, I wouldn't be so... Come now. This way. Quickly before... What the devil are you? It's on the loose. Watch out before it. Even blue. No! You fool. Because of you. No, because of us. The rainbow friends are dead. need test subjects for it to fight. Orange! Green! I've got a surprise for you in the lab! Come on and... Oh. Right. Ah. Purple, get out of there! You're going to block the air conditioning! Purple! Ah. I know he's not really in there. Wishful thinking. Blue. I think I miss you most of all. You proved a worthy adversary many times. Without you. Who will I have to do battle with? Who will I have to do tests and experiments on? Who will I have to subjugate? But most of all... Who is going to make me money? It's all my fault. They're gone because of me. If I hadn't given that stupid robo-friend too much power... Wait a moment. I've got an idea. If I can figure out what went wrong with the robo-friend, I can make an entire fleet of them. Yes, and I can program them to play well with kids. Obviously removing the laser arms. They can put on fancy electronic light shows. And most of all, obey me. Kids these days love technology, after all. The Robo Friends are the way of the future. To get people in here, we've got to get with the times. Who needs silly mascot costumes? Who needs the old Rainbow Friends? Fumes. That's all. Making me think I'm seeing things. <laughs> what in heavens are you? Red, what you are seeing is real. I am the Ghost of Green, and I am but one of the ghosts that will visit you tonight. What are you talking about? The ghosts of the Rainbow Friends will return to haunt you, one by one, to show you the consequences of your actions. The consequences of killing us! I didn't kill you directly. It was a mistake. The robot did it. Excuses, excuses. Nothing can save you now to be haunted by the ghosts of the Rainbow Friends. Wait, Green! Green! What? This can't really be happening. Ghosts aren't real. Red, you must be dreaming. 
Wake up. Wake up! Uh-oh. Red! I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Red, do you remember how we all became friends? You kidnapped Blue while he was injured from a car crash. You tricked Green using his blindness against him. You lied to Orange, filling his head with false promises. And you bribed me, Purple, into selling my life away for you. <laughs> None of that matters anymore. It's not like I can change any of us back, especially now that you're dead and gone. Your actions one day will come back to bite you, Red. I have seen it. My actions also gave you all new lives, super strength, and did exactly what I wanted. They made me rich. I got what I needed out of you. My new robo-friends will do all of that and more. And because they won't need a human source, I won't have to trick any more fools like you four. You may think so, but I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Maybe I do feel a little guilty. But what's done is done. A little power outage doesn't mean anything. Back to work. Orange, what are you doing in there? I thought there might be snacks. I keep trying to eat, but everything goes right through me. Anyway, I'm here to haunt you. Orange, just let this go. You're not going to stop me. Oh, come on, Red. You can't just replace us with some robot guys. Oh, yeah? Watch me. But what about all our good times? We've been transported to other worlds and worked together to get back. We've even saved the day together. I know we have our differences, but we make a really great team when we try. All the times we got to eat the leftover cake after kids' parties. Or when we'd all get together and play those dance-off games. I gotta admit, Red, you had some great moves. Those were all just distractions. If anything, your antics got in the way of my plots and wasted my time. If you say so. But I think the next guy might convince you. Oh, I'm getting out of here. So, take me with you. Red! Blue, please. I'm the final ghost of the Rainbow Friends here to hunt you. I am your last chance! You'll never stop me. My mind is already made up. I'm going to show you a vision of the future, Red! A vision of what will happen if you create the Robo Friends! If you make these Robo Friends, they'll lose control just like the very ones that killed us! And they'll kill you next! No, I don't believe you. I fixed the Robo Friends formula and they'll obey my every order. Not without these, they won't! No! No! Say goodbye to your Robo Friends, Red! A little earthquake isn't going to stop me. Oh yeah? Do you think this can stop you? Blue, I'm begging you. I'll change my ways. Do you swear? Promise. Idiot! I created this Robo Friend. I know exactly what its weaknesses are. You can't stop my evil plans, Blue. I'm going to make more Robo Friends and make more money than ever! <laughs> what? Sorry, Red. You turn off the power, but you can't get me out of here. The vision I showed you was true. No matter what emergency buttons or controls you put into your Robo Friends, we'll be able to haunt them. And if you replace us, we'll make sure this place burns to the ground, and you along with it. But I need Rainbow Friends, and you're dead. Please, how can I stop you? You figure out how to put us back into our bodies immediately! But how? I can't bring a person back to life. I can't even make us human again. Well, you're gonna figure out how, and you're gonna figure it out fast! You did it! Now you won't need those Robo Friends after all! Of course not. After all, who could replace the Rainbow Friends? Hurry up, compadre! We gotta finish our task before that imposter annihilates us! Talk about buzzkill. I'm on it, Stoner! Remember to stay on your toes. You're a sitting duck while in that chair destroying asteroids. Stoner? Uh, it's not what it looks like? Ah!
Come on, bestie. Let me in so we can end this. This is it. I'm doomed. I applaud your valiant efforts, player, but my cooldown is almost over. You're mere seconds away from being the final kill I need to win. Excuse me, uh, can you get your freakish body off of me? Where am I? It's Among Us, someplace very dangerous. This here's Captain, and he's an imposter. No, I'm not. The game reset, and I'm a crewmate now, I swear. Get behind me, strangely shaped crewmates. Love the red color, by the way. I'm no crewmate. My name is Red, and I'm a rainbow friend. I'm not really sure what Among Us is, but I don't think I trust it. My totally excusable attack on the control panel must have sent it into a frenzy and opened up some sort of wormhole? Yes, that must have been what happened. Well, you're here now, so welcome to the game. You can team up with me. I I'll show you the ropes. Player, a word? If he kills me, report my body immediately, Red. Player, I don't know if that's the best idea. This guy seems super sus. He's just a noob. That doesn't make him sus. I'm more skeptical of you than him. Look at his weird eyes and his claw hands. In my expert opinion, he's grade A sussy baka. Just be careful. Whoa, far out, man. I don't think I'm in the play place anymore. Dude, you're a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two men? That's radical. Why are you here? You trying to sell me a used car or something? What? No, I'm green, the blind rainbow friend. And you are? I'm stoner, bro. We totally match. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. <laughs> ah! What are you? What are you? Where are your arms? Where aren't your arms? What's up? You wanna throw down, bro? I'll show you how long these arms are. Look, I don't want any trouble. I've got tasks to complete, and you probably do too, so... Tasks? I'm calibrating the distributor. Here, you fix the wiring or something. <sighs> this guy. Fix some wiring or something, I'll fix you. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, come on! You think for a room called the cafeteria, this place would have more actual food? Whoa, what the heck is going on over here? Did we install some sort of dinosaur mod now or something? Hmm? Oh, maybe, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey now, why are you looking at me like that? Breakfast time. Uh-oh. Hello? Is anyone here? I think I got teleported here somehow and- no! Go back where you came from, Cretan. Oh! What are you talking about? Why did you hit me? You and your creepy red friend! You things must be the imposters! I'm sure of it! I don't know anything about an imposter! Sure you don't! You're all sus, I say! No, I'm not sus! But Red? Red's definitely up to something. He's always the mastermind behind these sorts of things. Alright, then let's go get him. What? What is this? It's how we try to figure out who's the imposter and vote them out. That way they can't kill any more of us. Well, obviously one of you rainbow freaks is the imposter. Captain, I thought we were teammates, rainbow friends. Please, we're rainbow acquaintances at best. Guys, I reported the body. Purple was trying to flee the scene in the vents. But being in the vents is his thing. You can't blame him for that. Oh, uh, we can and we will. So what task you got in here? Uh, something to do with this thing, I think? Oh, that's easy. Start by pressing the button. Which button? All of them. Just start spamming. Oh, uh, of course. Red, you're an 
Imposter! You were the only rainbow friend who voted off purple. One of your own kind. I'm just playing to win. Yeah, why are you guys so sure he's the bad guy here? Because I know for a fact Red came here to take over your world. You see, Red was building a portal machine so he could enter a new dimension. He was bored of just controlling the rainbow friends and being stuck, confined to the play place. He's a mad scientist after all. He wanted to branch out, but before he could stabilize his machine, we received a signal from your world. The portal machine went haywire, and it zapped all of us into among us. I'm going to call an emergency meeting stat. You're out of here. Oh no, someone is in trouble. Guess we better go find them and forget all about the emergency meeting. Mr. Egg! Orange, stop! Did we find another imposter? Well, that was an easy one. Orange's hunger knows no bounds. Even if he was a crewmate, he probably would have still eaten that eggy fellow. See? That's what I'm talking about! I've had it with you rainbow fools! You've done nothing but destroy my crew! None of you can be trusted. You're all going down! Whoa, chillax, amigo. My green brother from another mother is actually pretty mellow. Thanks, stoner! Listen, guys, there's two imposters left, and it's obvious it's the two remaining rainbow friends. We gotta get rid of them! <laughs> green! Hang in there, man! Who did this? Did anyone see? I can't see, but I think it was. Uh, uh. No. Green! What? You think I did it? You just said you wanted to take out the Rainbow Friends. Yes, but. I'll never forgive you for what you've done here today. You can't spell Among Us without us. All those in favor of voting off Captain. I. I I... Wait, no! That's impossible! Captain was a crewmate? Yeah, and I think we need to start trusting Captain's instincts. I told you guys Red is always behind these sorts of schemes. Blue, I know it looks bad, but it's your buddy, Red. Think of all the good times we've had together. Like when you turned me into a monster and separated me from my family and destroyed any semblance I had of a normal life? Well, when you put it like that... Sorry, Red. We're voting you out. Wait, look! Behind you! Hey, I don't see any. After him! I'm really not seeing anything. If you won't go out peacefully, we'll have to take you out ourselves. Blue, I swear I'm not an imposter. Why should we trust you? Because if I was, why would I run all the way here instead of venting? He's right. Why wouldn't he just vent? You come back here with that. Did anyone see who it is? No. <laughs> Great, you slowpokes lost him. Look, over there! What is that? We're doomed! Wait, I know what this is. Don't inhale it. It's... <coughs> What's happening to us? What the? No way! Ah, oh, come on! It's exactly what I thought. You see, I created a new elixir. One that could turn animals into rainbow friends. But it seems someone was able to reverse it. And instead, now that gas is turning rainbow friends into... Animals. Hey! So this is because of you? I've been with you the whole time. How could I have activated the gas? Well, who else would have had access to it? I suspect whoever we were chasing is the culprit. We have to find them. But all the doors are locked. We don't even know which way they went. Well, they have to have gone somewhere. Everyone search. <gasps> Hurry, 
I'm running out of air! Guys, wait up! Huh? Ugh, give me a second. I think they went this way. Green, can you use your claws to rip off the lock on that control panel? Okay, Blue. Now if you pull the wire... Well, that works too. <gasps> the antidote is... <gasps> the antidote is... We need to get him in some water! Phew. I thought I was a goner. You were saying something about an antidote. The antidote should be in here somewhere. Red, I'm not smelling anything. They must have taken it with them. We better find it before... Before what? Oh no. Blue! Can't you see I'm busy? You see, the effects of the elixir are reversible, but only for a while. We only have so much time until we're stuck like this forever, and we give in to our animal instincts. You're telling me I'm gonna be stuck this slow forever? You think you have it bad? I'm a fish, the brightest mind of a generation, now just inside a bowl. At least Blue's cute. Wow! We gotta find that antidote, or... I smell... Treats! Don't fall for it. You need to stay with us if you want any chance at going back to normal. I can't help myself! Green! He's a goner if we can't find him. We've got to follow them! Who knows where they could have gone? Are you joking? We have to stay here and make a new antidote. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stuck like this forever. Well, I'm not gonna abandon them, so you're coming along for the ride. Where are we? Green? Blue? You in here? Whenever we are, we have to get out and find the antidote before. Blue? What are you doing? Green, Blue, listen to me. You've still got some of your willpower left. You don't have to do this. I can't help myself. No, they succumb to their animal instincts as natural enemies. We have to find the cure immediately. Down, boys. There, there. Purple, did you do this to us? Yes, isn't it exciting? You're all adorable. Adorable? You turned me and Red into the lamest pets possible. And we're becoming more like them every second. I'm losing my evil genius. Fish only have a memory span of one minute. I lost my teeth and I'm all slowed down. Yeah, and fish only have a memory span of one minute. Why did you do this to us? Because... If you remember, I was orphaned after my entire family passed away in a house fire. As a kid, I was forced to hop foster homes a lot. I always had trouble connecting with my new families everywhere I went. Nothing could replace what I'd lost. Who's there? But then I discovered another type of companionship. Many of these homes had pets, you see, and they kept me company in my darkest times. The unconditional love of pets was all the love I had in the world, and I bonded with them, much better than the fleeting mothers, fathers, and siblings I went through. I met all types of animals. Cats, turtles, fish. No matter what kind of creature it was, they never failed to make me feel just a little bit less lonely. I promised myself that when I grew up, I would have a house full of pets that loved me as much as I loved them. Then one day, I finally had that opportunity. I found the scrawniest little dog I've ever seen. Some monster must have dumped him by our orphanage. But thankfully, we found each other. Soon enough, that dog became my best friend. Every day I'd sneak out of the orphanage to play with him, or secretly give him a snack. One day, a huge storm came, and I knew I couldn't leave him outside, so I tried to bring him in. You can't bring that mangy mud in here! You could have rabies, mad cow disease, depression! But... I abandoned the only thing left that loved me, and the next time I went to look for him, he was gone. I was sure he was dead, swept away in the storm, exposed to the elements. But then... I saw him! Someone found my old buddy and gave him a new home! I wanted to go up to him to tell him I didn't mean to abandon him, but I realized he deserved better. If I couldn't have a new life, I'm glad he could. As an adult, I was determined to get a dog of my own. 
But with my financial situation, well, it never ended up happening. So, I decided I should turn you all into pets. That way, I know you already like me and everything. Well, we like you a lot less now. Purple, I can't believe you'd do this to us, just to transform us into your playthings. Red's right, purple. Orange, stay with me. I'm sorry, Red. See what you've done, Purple. If you don't turn us back soon, we'll succumb to our animalistic tendencies. I'm not giving up on my pet buddies again. Blue, sick em. Here, boy, you want the ball? Ooh. Of course you do. Yeah. Go get it! There's no way you're gonna stop me. Ah. I could use some help here. Green, thank goodness you still recognize me. Ah. Ew, get away from me, you! Looks like uh, I'm the only one who can still control myself. No, don't you dare! Ow, ah! Aha! I've never been happier to have legs. Come here, good boys. You want a treat? No! I'm sorry, okay? Can you ever forgive me? On one condition. Let me out of here! I've learned my lesson already! Ooh! <laughs> You're outnumbered, CEO! Give it up! That's right! We're not letting you get away! Oh, blast these infernal rainbow friends! I think it's time to even the odds! What's he doing? Oh my gosh, he summoned an army! Ugh, that's a whole lot of bees! Too many! This is bad! <laughs> that ought to keep them busy! Ta-ta for now, rainbow friends! Hi, brace for impact! That's us. A rainbow friend and a toy of Playtime Co. fighting side by side to take down the ones who oppressed us for years, turned us into monsters. Although it wasn't long ago that we were at each other's throats. You see, two evil men, Red and the Playtime Co. CEO, work together to merge our realities. In order to bolster their own strength, they pitted us against each other. <laughs> But what happened next, they didn't expect. We were able to settle our differences and realize our true enemy. When the tables turned, the CEO left Red to fend for himself. Good luck, Red. But we weren't about to let the crooked businessman get away that easily. No! Unfortunately, the CEO is in more control of this new rainbow playtime building than we thought. With our lives on the line, and an army of huggy-wuggies chomping at the bit to tear us to shreds, we did the only thing we could. Retreat! Mm, must have taken a wrong turn. I could have sworn this was the way to my office. Wait, what is that? <laughs> ah! Killy Willy! I thought you were destroyed! <laughs> Not quite. I should be thanking you! By merging our universe with that of the Rainbow Friends, you did me a big favor. Or should I say, us. Us? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Let me go. That's enough out of you, Red. Boy, I sure wish I could see the look on your face. Not so fun when the shoe's on the other foot, huh? Quick, help me blockade the door! Purple! What the heck's going on out there? No time to explain, come on! That takes care of one problem. Now, Purple, where is Huggy Wuggy? Were you able to find that nasty CEO? The CEO got away, and Huggy, he didn't make it. Huggy! I'm sorry, Mommy. Wait, where are the others? They're out doing recon on the new Rainbow Playtime building to see what kind of secrets it holds. 
which means more revenge on Red for the rest of us. I think I'll take his eyes first. Now, now, let's all talk about this, shall we? All of us want to become human again, right? Including you, Mommy Longlegs, and the rest of your toy friends. I'm the only chance you have of that. Can you really turn us back to normal? Don't believe his lies. This is the oldest trick in his playbook. No tricks this time. Please, you have to trust me before it's too late. Hello, Rainbow friends. And hello, my wonderful creations. This guy again? What do you want now? My ally and I, we want you to die once and for all. Newsflash, CEO. We already captured your buddy Red. I'm afraid that Red's not the ally I speak of. Hello, everyone. Long time no see. The forgotten rainbow friend. Killy Willy. Father. <laughs> the forgotten rainbow friend and I, Killy Willy, have merged into one. The perfect being for bringing forth your destruction. And just how do you expect to do that? Both of our universes have had exposure to something called the EXE virus. You may think you've beaten it, but it has laid dormant within some of you this whole time. With the forgotten rainbow friend's power coursing through me, I can rekindle that connection. Now, join me. <laughs> I had forgotten this feeling. <laughs> My little monsters, have fun. <laughs> I'm more powerful than ever. Great! What do we do now? We need to regroup. Now move that big abdomen of yours into the vent. Go, go, go. Um, guys, I think you're forgetting someone. Yeah, fine. This way. Where are we? This is the place where Playtime Co. scientists made us into toys. It isn't safe here. We should leave as soon as possible. No. It's perfect. Huh? What do you mean, Red? That Killy Willy creature back there said that both of our universes had run-ins with the EXE virus. I'd hazard a guess that it all went down in this room. And it is here that I will manufacture a cure and save our friends. How do we know we can trust you? Well... You can't. Purple, I've made mistakes. But believe me or not, it's really your only hope. <sighs> Fine. What do you need from us? Time. You need to distract the others and keep them off my back while I work my magic. Or rather, science. Let's hope the others aren't in too much trouble. We split up to cover more ground and allow Red all the time he needed alone in the new lab. We were hoping that we'd run into our former friends. Unfortunately, fate wouldn't be on our side. The Rainbow Friends would face off against Playtime Coast Toys once more, and the winner would take all. All across the facility, our battles raged. Player took on Blue, using his grab pack to zip around the arena with dizzying speed. Unfortunately for him, Blue has experience taking on faster foes and was able to provide a tough fight. Green tackled the biggest of the toys, Mommy long legs. Neither would give an inch no matter what, for the fate of both of our worlds depended on this fight. Lastly, I contended with Playtime Co.'s most popular toy of all, the world famous Huggy Wuggy. Huggy, you're alive! No thanks to you! You want me to die! And now I'm gonna repay the favor! His reputation was well earned. Not only was he quick, but he was also extremely powerful, and he knew how to pack a punch. Luckily, my speed and stretchy body helped me to avoid most of his blows. I could only hope that Red could come up with his cure quickly, because time was not on our side. Come on, come on. Eureka, I've got it. Not so fast. You cannot win, Red. So why not join us? You can have a place at your father's side. Isn't that what you always wanted? Never. Solution accepted. Dispersing chemical throughout facility. No! No! What have you done? For once, the right thing. I can see clearly again. Metaphorically, at least. Oh, thank goodness! Ah, 
Guess you'll never find out which is stronger. The Rainbow Friends or us Playtime Co-Toys. Never say never. What the? I'm... I'm cured! Red did it! Oh my head! Is it over? No, I think it's just getting started. Fine, I'll do it myself. Succumb to the power of the Golden Rainbow Friend! Rainbow Friends, help me! <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Try as you might, you cannot escape my wrath. Stay strong, everyone. We've almost lost him. You saw what he did to Green. If he even gets one hand on us, we're toast. I don't know about you guys, but I, for one, am not going to be some gold statue for the rest of my life. I die before. Ah! No! 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 Purple! No! It's too late for him. We need to keep moving. That's the least of your concerns now, friend. Guys, help! Alright, enough of this. My teeth! He broke my teeth! I do have rather thick skin, don't I? Mm, I wish you hadn't damaged yourself, though. Your statue is going to be so much less appealing now. Four down? One to go. No, 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 nothing is here. Surely I'd remember creating such a monster. You did create me, but not in the way you think. What does that mean? Who are you? How did you become like this? I certainly had no part in it. Not directly, no, but your DNA is the root cause of my suffering. DNA? I don't understand. Then allow me to explain before I kill you. It all started many, many years ago. You see, I grew up with an absolutely loving family. My father, mother, and I didn't have much, but we had each other. Just enough to get by and be happy. Due to their support, I was an excellent student in school. On every one of my papers, I'd get a big, beautiful gold star. And it didn't stop at the academic, either. Their love carried me through my other pursuits. I was gifted musically, athletically, and more. I brought home gold trophies, and my parents proudly displayed them on the mantle. Things were good. Very good. It seemed like these great times would roll on forever. Until, of course, one day, all of that came crashing down. My father worked for a bigwig at a company that was all about margins and stocks and all that business hoopla. Dad, on the other hand, was much more of a free thinker. Needless to say, they had a bit of a falling out. My father called out the man for his cold, uncaring demeanor and threatened to take the whole place down. Well, no one in that meeting room liked that, I guess. I overheard my parents talk all about it when he came home. My mom was worried, but my dad only saw fire. He went into work the next day more confident in his cause than ever, only he never came home that night or any night after. The mysterious circumstances of my father's disappearance were left uninvestigated, no doubt from the pull of the company's weight. My mom and I were left alone. The joy had been sucked out of our house, and soon enough, they came for that too. The company and the Big Wood proposed a new expansion project, one that required a vast parking lot. A parking lot, they said, that had to go right on top of our home. Due to some backroom shenanigans, we weren't even given a buyout. We were displaced from the property and made homeless overnight. His death wasn't enough, apparently. With our lives uprooted, my mother and I scrambled to make whatever honest living we could. I started to work two jobs when I should have been focusing on my studies, just to try and help out. As a result, my grades dropped, my attendance plummeted, and I no longer had time for any extracurriculars. I became a subject of ridicule among the other students. They mocked me for being poor, 
and for having to work so hard, but I had thick skin even then. Their insults couldn't get to me, because only one thing mattered at that point, getting my revenge. My family's condition worsened. It wasn't long before my mother passed away due to illness. I was officially alone in the world, all because of the actions of one man. I didn't know exactly what I could do to him, but I knew what I wanted to do. And so I began training, becoming bigger and stronger, readying myself for some fantasy confrontation. Alas, it never came, because I soon found out that the man himself had gone missing. I was distraught. I had toiled for years becoming a man on a mission, and yet I would have nothing to show for it, until I did a little bit of research. Turns out the bigwig had a son, a businessman just like him, who had started a little thing called the Rainbow Friends Play Place. And so I decided that the sins of the father would pass on to his son. I had no doubt that this man would be just as evil, as cruel, as unconcerned with the lives he's ruined. I arrived at the play place soon after. I explored, but something felt off about this place. I entered what looked like some sort of laboratory. As I wandered, I nearly fell into a hole in the floor. As I peered down into the hole, two dark-colored hands emerged and pushed me back. I flew backwards and landed into a machine. The dark figure emerged from the hole and maneuvered over to a console even as I shouted to be let free. The machine whirred to life and my body began to change. My skin hardened, my face distorted into the shape of a star. I could only yell out in anger as I tackled the dark figure back down into the depths he crawled from. At some point I could no longer see in front of me. When I landed, I was all alone. I yelled up into the heavens and struck the floor with my oversized fist in a fit of rage. What happened next shocked me. The entire ground, the zone of impact, turned into a glimmering shiny gold. It seemed as though I could manipulate my surroundings. Using this newfound power, I knew that I could still have my revenge. I simply had to climb my way out. But like I said, it was a long way down. And much has changed about this place since I first fell down that hole. Much, but not all. I still want my revenge against the man and his son. You. You, Red. You are the son of the one who took my family from me. Who doomed me to this pitiful existence. And I will have my revenge. Listen to me. I sympathize with your struggles. My father is truly an awful man. I hate him more than anyone. You hate your own father? Lies. You're just like him. I... I had made mistakes, yes. I told myself I would never end up like him, and yet, I've done many of the same things. But now, so have you. What? Those rainbow friends that you've barreled through, that you've turned gold, they're completely innocent. If you want to punish anyone, then punish me. But please, afterwards, restore them if it's in your power. Now do what you must. I don't... I don't want to be like him. Then perhaps we can work together to destroy him once and for all. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Fred's machines? You don't even know what that is! Yeah, we do! It's his interdimensional teleporter! We're trying to send ourselves somewhere nice since Red's not around. I need to leave the play place, it's driving me nuts! Be careful! You don't know what that thing can do! You don't want to break it! What happened? I think Red's machine worked. This definitely isn't home. Yeah, but now we're all locked up. Where are we? Some sort of jail cell? You're in prison. My prison. Who are you? Why'd you put us here? You're prisoners now, and there's no getting out. Prisoners? We're innocent, I swear. No one's innocent in this world. Well, what can we do to get out? Mail? Community service? We're great with kids! Oh, there's no leaving my prison. It's far too big for you to escape. It doesn't look that big. There's no way you could survive the path out of here. No, sir. 
and if you try to sneak away and fail, you'll die. Like, die, die? Forever? Well, you'll die in this world, and then you'll never make it back to whatever freak show realm you came from. So my advice, don't even think about it. So what do we do? Break out, obviously! But what if we die? Then we'll never get home! Hey, you! Shh! You're gonna get me caught! How'd you get out of this cell? Through the vent, right up there. That's the easy part. This place is like a maze. You've really gotta have guts to try and escape. Oh, we've got guts. Yeah, we need to leave or we'll never have a chance at returning to the play place. The who what now? Hey, you there! Oh no, I think I'm done for, fellas! You'll never take me alive! And that's exactly what you lot can expect if you get caught. So stay put! Look, maybe this isn't so bad. There's bunk beds. Who doesn't love bunk beds? It's like a slumber party! No, we need to get out of here! He said there's a vent on the wall, right? How do we get up there? We could probably climb up the bunk bed ladder, sneak over the pipe, and rip the grate off the vent. That'll definitely get us out, right? I don't know if it'll be that easy. I'll go first. I know me a good vent. Looks like an escape. Ooh, we really gotta be careful. I've got a feeling this is only the beginning. Didn't that guy say it was a maze? Don't worry, I'm sure it'll lead to a way out. Oh great, we're right back at the beginning. Shh, if he sees us, we're toast. We're gonna sneak, follow my lead, and don't make a sound. again you'll be fine just take slow careful steps center yourself and who did i tell you no breaking out say goodbye green man no i'm too young to die no green come on blue we can't stay here he'll find us Okay, I think I got it. Just a little bit more. It's now or never! Uh, this is a much bigger place than I thought. That prisoner was right. How much further do we have to go? I hope not too far. I've never jumped this much before. It's such a workout. At least we can stand still for a second, right? I don't see any spikes. Barry's not around, so I think we're good for now. Ah, not good! Everyone, hide in that opening! Whew, let's keep going. Everyone squish in! Whoa, you're crushing me! Too bad! Guys, squish in! Blue, I don't think that's happening. Maybe if I get in first, I can hold on to you and tuck you under my arms and- Blue, you're just too big. It's not gonna work. Sorry, Blue. We hate to do this to you, but- ah! Gee, thanks, guys. Blue! Purple! We let him get killed. There's nothing we can do, Orange. We've gotta keep moving forward. It's what they want us to do. Is it snowing indoors? This place is insane. Barry really doesn't want us getting out. Makes me wonder what some of these prisoners did to end up here. Oh, careful, Orange! These floors are pretty icy! How are we supposed to make it over these gaps if we can hardly even walk? I don't know. Inertia? What's that? Momentum. Gravity. We get a running start, then slide, and jump at the perfect time. We'll shoot right over the gaps and make it to the other side, and then I'm sure we'll be free. How will I know when to jump? You'll feel it in your bones. Watch. Like that. But I'm so much smaller than you. What if I don't go far enough? Don't think like that. You can do this. 
All right, little legs. I know you weren't designed for distance, but I believe in you. Let's do this. Ah! I'm flying. Ah! Oh, oh my God, I made it. All right, I just gotta do that a lot more times. Here we go. One more to go. This should be easy. Ah! Purple, no! Orange, you gotta make it to the end. Don't let me and the others die in vain. Be a hero. But I don't want to be the only rainbow friend. What if Red makes a bunch of new ones and they're even lamer than you guys? Go, Orange. Avenge me. Barry, my friends are all dead because of him. I'm gonna bring him down, no matter what it takes. I made it out. How do I get back without a teleporter? Uh. I could really use the others right now. You're not going anywhere. Not on my watch. Good thing I picked this bad boy up. No! No! Oh, we're alive again! Orange! I knew you could do it! Now let's get the heck out of here and back to the play place. Oh, I call shotgun! If I make this thing go fast, maybe it'll work the same way as the teleporter and send us back. Everyone, seatbelts on! It's working, I, I think. Or it's catching on fire. It better be working. I didn't go through all that just to... Fall off a roof? Blue, are you crazy? Come on, come on. Just a little faster and... Hey guys, this is Zack Taggart with Ghoulie Hunters, and we have just made our way into the Rainbow Friends Play Place. And let me tell you, this place is spooky. Abandoned long ago, there have been rumors of a paranormal presence within these halls. And believe me, if there is one, we're gonna find it. Did you guys hear that? Something is definitely here. Come on. Go on, get in there. This is gold. This is for all the suffering you caused, Red. We're sick of you. And this place. We want out. And the only way out is with you out of the picture. Are you seeing this, folks? These horrible creatures seem to be sacrificing one of their own in some sort of bizarre ritual. Don't look at me, look at them. No, no, you'll regret this. <sighs> it's over. Not quite. Look. Oh my god, they saw us. Looks like it's your unlucky day. <laughs> Mmm, they look tasty. <laughs> what are you? What are you planning on doing with us? I'm Blue, and I'm a rainbow friend. All I want to do is tell our story. You see, we're all innocent victims of the one you just saw us destroy. We were only getting revenge. Victims? You mean, you're not monsters? Not at all. We might look scary, but we were once humans, just like you. You see, it all started when we were drawn to this place through false promises, lies, and deception. As Blue talked to the camera crew, I could hardly believe what was happening. Our story was actually going to be told. And what's more, I started to think we were finally free of this place for good. If only it were that easy. Blue went on to explain then and there in front of everyone how exactly each of us was tricked into coming to this place. He talked about his phony job offer and the resulting crash and how he was dragged to the play place and turned into Blue. And then he spoke of Green, the bullies that tormented him, and eventually how Red tricked him into coming with the promise of fixing his eyesight. Next, he spoke of Purple, of his tragic upbringing, how he was guilted into one more theft, and how he paid the ultimate price for it. Lastly, he turned to me and explained to the whole world about who I used to be, reduced to the pitiful creature they see now. He even spoke of Yellow and Ducky, everything we were, everything we are now, all aired out like dirty laundry. And soon, the entire world will know the true story of the Rainbow Friends. But what happened next, I would have never guessed. We left the play place behind with the camera crew, and we did so peacefully. We were finally free of that place, for good, or so we thought. But more on that later. For now, the people, the public, they loved us. Our story had gripped the nation. Apparently, it had everything. Love, 
loss, tragedy, deceit, they ate it up. Soon enough, the Rainbow Friends were a household name. The tape of Blue detailing our struggles was delivered to every news agency, and they began airing it 24-7. You couldn't walk down the street without hearing the newest buzz around the country's newest and most lovable celebrities. We began getting offers to make merchandise of our new forms, cameos on primetime TV shows, and even release a musical album. We were the Rainbow Friends Quartet, and we were on top of the world. Soon enough, we were invited to share our stories on a morning talk show. Finally, we'd all get a chance to speak. We all sat in our undersized chairs across from the host. The city street seen behind us through the glass windows. Legions of fans holding up signs of adoration. It was one of those feel-good shows, and they had invited all of our family and friends to attend and reunite with us. It was great to see my family again. We all couldn't be more happy until it became the Blue Show. Every time the host asked a question, Blue would jump right in to answer it. The rest of us hardly got a word in. Everyone began to associate us as Blue and the Rainbow Friends, as if he was above us, or some sort of leader. Chants of, we love you Blue, and you're an inspiration Blue, were heard from the crowd. It shouldn't have bothered me, but it did. We all suffered the same as him, so why should he get all the fame and glory? My thoughts didn't mean much, because even Blue started to buy into his own fame. He was constantly surrounded by a group of adoring fans, much to the annoyance of the rest of us. He started wearing sunglasses and leather jackets to maintain his bad boy persona. He even started recording solo albums. What's worse, he no longer seemed all that friendly of a rainbow friend. We'd get into arguments often, until one day he snapped. He told us that he was a rainbow friend no longer, and that he was above the rest of us and would make his own way in the world. Fine, I said in response, but deep down, I was heartbroken. Blue was one of us, and I just let him walk away from it all. We weren't like everybody else. We were different. Couldn't he see that? Soon, demands for the rainbow friends started to wane. Without Blue, we were just three weird-looking guys. With not much stage presence, the calls stopped rolling in, and the offers for TV appearances dried up. We were at rock bottom. Blue, on the other hand, was soaring higher than ever. He had his own sitcom launch, and even got a role in one of those big-budget superhero movies. I didn't envy the yellow spandex, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't jealous for the attention. People used to love me for my ability to eat. It was a big deal. The biggest guy in the room. Now. I'm just one of an assortment of freaks, and even then, my star was falling fast. I knew that I needed to bring Blue back into the fold for me to be in the spotlight again. So I orchestrated a bit of a trick. I managed to convince one of the big shows that we were going to do a genuine reunion of the Rainbow Friends live on air. People love a good reunion, after all. The network executives ate it up. They only had one condition. Blue had to be there. I told them that of course he'd be there. He orchestrated it. In truth, I just tricked Blue into coming under the false pretense of a big meeting for a multi-picture movie deal. When he got to the studio and saw the three of us and a large audience waiting in anticipation, he wasn't very happy. Nevertheless, he was still a professional and the audience still loved him, so he sat and begrudgingly played along. Everything was going great, until all of a sudden, it wasn't. I don't know what started it exactly. Stop! Before we watch the ending, did you know that less than 15% of you are subscribed to the channel? That's crazy! Do yourselves a favor and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more awesome Rainbow Friends content. Alright, back to the video. The four of us were at each other's throats. Years of pent-up frustrations with one another had built up to this, and we went at it. The resulting chaos was quite impressive, let me tell you. The audience fled amidst the destruction, and soon, word of our rampage got to every household in the nation. We were no longer the cute, lovable rainbow friends, but rather a dangerous, scary pack of monsters, aka what we always knew we were. Soon afterwards, now that his 15 minutes were over, Blue made up with the rest of us. He realized that the attention got to his head, and we all forgave him. After all, that's what friends do. They forgive each other. With nowhere else to go, we all came back to the one place we could comfortably call home. But when we walked through those doors, none of us were prepared for what we saw. A group of fangirls all holding up signs with our faces on them. They were cheering and smiling and just oh so happy to see us. It appeared we still had fans after all. But something inside of us had forever changed after our brief stint in the public eye. 
We exchanged a series of knowing looks between us and readied ourselves. Then we got right back to doing what we did best. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.